welcome to our adventure through the Emerald Isle, a land of myths, legends and breathtaking landscapes. We start in Dublin, the lively capital, a blend of history, culture and good old Irish Farnor, as we learn the Irish call it, the crack. Our Dublin adventure took a spirited turn as we stepped into the Jameson Distillery, an institution raising glasses since the 18th century. Inside these walls, you can feel the legacy, the tradition and the passion that goes into every drop of Jameson. We took the tour that delved deep into the art of whiskey making, from mashing and fermenting to the magic of triple distillation, all curated by our enthusiastic guide. And what's a visit to Jameson without a tasting? With each sip, we unraveled the notes of caramel wood and that signature smoothness. The visit was capped off at the in-house bar, where Jameson takes center stage in classic cocktails, giving old favorites a delightful Irish twist. With a heart full of memories and a palate richer in taste, we bid goodbye to the Jameson Distillery, a true Dublin gem. Another of Dublin's iconic landmarks stood tall and inviting the Guinness Storehouse. Though luck wasn't on our side for an inside peek as it was sold out, we couldn't resist a drive-by to admire its grandeur. Home to the Black Stuff since 1759, this place isn't just a brewery. It's a testament to Dublin's spirit and love for the world-famous stout. While the doors remained closed for us this time, the allure of the storehouse ensures a return trip. Until then, to Arthur. As a new day dawned over Dublin, excitement buzzed in the air. Today was the day for a meeting with history. Gathering with our group at the gates of Trinity College, the anticipation was palpable. Ahead lay the Book of Kells, a masterpiece of medieval art. Walking through the old library felt like a journey through time. Surrounded by centuries of knowledge, we were mere steps away from the main attraction. And then there it was, the Book of Kells. An illuminated manuscript, its vibrant colors and intricate designs narrating the Gospels in a way words alone never could. It's one thing to read about it, another to see it in textbooks, but standing in its presence was surreal. Each of us lost in its pages found a connection to a time long past. As we step back into the present, the Book of Kells left an indelible mark on our hearts, a testament to the timeless power of art and faith. With the tales of the Book of Kells still fresh in our minds, we set our compass westward. Destination, Galway. As we left the urban landscapes of Dublin, Ireland unveiled its lush tapestry. Endless green fields, centuries-old stone walls and the promise of the wild Atlantic Way. As River Corrib's waters hinted at our arrival, the rhythms of Galway began to embrace us. A city of arts, music and legends awaited. And just like that, we found ourselves amidst the vibrant streets of Galway. A new chapter of our Irish adventure had begun and oh, what a chapter it promised to be. In the heart of Galway stands a testament to time and faith, St. Nicholas Collegiate Church, With curiosity brimming, we embarked on a walking tour, eager to uncover the stories etched into the stones of this ancient church. Stepping back into the vibrancy of Galway, St. Nicholas is offered a serene, enlightening pause, a reminder of the timeless spirit of the city of Galway. Amidst the storied streets of Galway, whispers of an age-old tale linger, a tale of power, justice and sacrifice. The tale of James Lynch. The year was 1493. James Lynch Fitzstephen, a respected merchant and the mayor of Galway, faced an unimaginable dilemma. Lynch's own son, swayed by jealousy, was accused of murdering a Spanish guest. 
As the mayor, the responsibility of justice fell upon Lynch's shoulders. Choosing justice over blood ties, Lynch took the harrowing step of executing his own son, ensuring that the law of the land prevailed. Today, Lynch's window stands in Galway as a stark reminder of this act. Some even suggest the term lynching traces its roots to this grim episode, though its origin remains debated. James Lynch's legacy in Galway is a testament to the city's rich tapestry of history. A reminder of the lengths one might go to uphold justice and integrity. Intriguingly, as we delve deeper into this tale, our family's whispers hinted at a connection. We've even heard rumors that the Lynches might be part of our family lineage. While it's a thrilling thought, and the mystery adds another layer to our journey, it's a chapter of our family's story still waiting to be fully uncovered. As evening draped over Galway Bay, our next destination emerged, standing proud and timeless, Dungua Castle. Stepping inside felt like a journey back in time, as the echoes of ages past greeted us with every stone and beam. The Banquet Hall, with its warm glow and inviting aroma, set the stage for a night to remember. And there, amidst the revelry, Rebecca and I reigned over the festivities, our laughter and joy setting the tone for the evening. The castle came alive with the strum of lutes, the rhythm of drums and tales spun by performers who transported us to a bygone era. The feast itself was a melange of flavors, each dish telling its own story and every bite a tribute to Ireland's rich culinary heritage. As the final notes of music faded and the castle returned to its tranquil repose, we left with hearts full and memories richer. Dungwe wasn't just a dinner, it was an experience etched in time. From the medieval walls of Dungwa Castle, our journey steered us towards nature's own majestic creation, the Cliffs of Moha. As we drew closer, the sheer magnitude of these cliffs began to unfold. Rising from the Atlantic, they stood as timeless sentinels narrating tales of ages past. From our vantage point, the views were nothing short of mesmerizing. A dance of shadows and light where land met the sea in a dramatic embrace. Nature's symphony played on, with seabirds adding their melodies soaring freely, their nests dotting the cliff's rugged facade. For us, it was a moment of reflection and wonder. The cliffs of Moha weren't just a sight. They were an emotion, an overwhelming testament to nature's artistry. A striking juxtaposition caught our attention. On one side, the hum of an electric fence, a modern guardian ensuring safety. On the other, the ancient wild grandeur of the cliffs of Moha plunging dramatically into the sea. In this delicate balance, we found a deeper appreciation for both the majesty of the cliffs and the measures that let us experience them close yet secure. As we journeyed on from this Irish gem, the midday sun illuminated the cliffs in brilliant shades of green and grey, casting a radiant glow that encapsulated the essence of our visit. Leaving behind the majesty of the cliffs of Moha, our journey took us through the heart of Ireland, bound for the scenic town of Killarney. As we meandered through the landscape, an arresting sight caught our attention. The famine fences or famine walls these seemingly ordinary stone walls carry with them a poignant history. Built during the Great Irish Famine, these walls weren't constructed for any agricultural purpose. Instead, they served as a grim testament to a time when food was exchanged for labor. To earn their meager rations, the starving were compelled to build these walls, often leading nowhere. These fences are more than mere stones. 
They are silent witnesses to human endurance and the profound tragedies of history. Our reflections gave way to the lively and inviting atmosphere of Killarney. A town rich in culture, it promised new adventures and tales yet to be discovered. Nestled within the embrace of Killarney lies its verdant heart, Killarney National Park, a haven of untouched wilderness. The park beckoned us with its myriad wonders. In the heart of Killarney National Park, we decided to journey back in time. We climbed aboard a jaunting car, the rhythmic trot of our horse guiding us through nature's tapestry. As we ventured deeper into Killarney National Park, every path, every vista reaffirmed its status as a sanctuary of nature. A place where stories of the land, water and sky converge in harmonious symphony. The shimmering lakes of Killarney, with their reflective surfaces, seemed like mirrors to the sky each offering its own unique allure and tales of ancient legends. Every corner of the park whispered tales of nature, from the graceful red deer native to these lands to the birds serenading from treetops, the park was alive with the pulse of the wild. Our Javi, with a wealth of local tales, regaled us with stories from days gone by, weaving history and legend into the fabric of our journey, including the leprechaun that lived in this little green house over the bridge, our journey led us to the historic Muckross House, a testament to Victorian grandeur. Its gardens of riot of colours seemed to paint the air with fragrant melodies. Our jaunting car ride was more than just a tour. It was an immersive experience, a blend of nature's wonders and the age-old charm of Killarney's traditions. From the heart of Killarney, our journey took a dramatic turn as we embarked on the famed Ring of Kerry a circuitous route that promises landscapes both wild and wondrous. Each turn introduced us to charming villages, where Irish warmth and tradition radiated from every corner. Along our journey on the Ring of Kerry, we chanced upon a rustic gem. The Red Fox Inn, with its inviting facade and tales of legendary Irish coffee, we couldn't resist a stop. Stepping inside felt like a journey into a bygone era. The warm glow of the fireplace, the walls adorned with memories, and the gentle murmur of patrons set the scene for an authentic Irish experience. But the star of the show was undoubtedly their famed Irish coffee. With meticulous precision, the barista crafted a concoction that promised both warmth and a spirited kick. The first sip was a revelation. Rich coffee melded with the smoothness of Irish whiskey, all crowned with a creamy finish. It was clear why many laud it as the best they've ever had. Our detour to the Red Fox Inn wasn't just about the drink. It was about savoring a slice of Irish tradition. As we continued our journey, the warmth of that experience lingered a testament to Ireland's unparalleled hospitality. Amidst the rolling hills and winding roads, we stumbled upon silent sentinels of Ireland's ancient past, the Coolmagort and Kilburnane Ogham stones. Ogham, an age-old script, adorned the stones. These linear carvings, often described as the Celtic tree alphabet, whispered tales from a time long before the dawn of Christianity in Ireland. Such stones served as territorial markers or memorials their inscriptions often naming local chieftains or prominent figures. It's a humbling thought, realizing that these etchings have withstood the test of time, spanning over a millennia. In their silent majesty, the Ogham stones of Coolmagort and Kilburnane stand as a testament to Ireland's deep-rooted heritage. They reminded us that this land is woven with stories, ancient scripts that intertwine with the very soil and air. As we drove on, the looming presence of the stones lingered in our minds. Moments like these, where we brush against the annals of time, add layers of depth to our journey, painting our memories with shades of wonder and reverence. Waterville, with its breathtaking coastal views, beckoned us to pause. And what better way to immerse in Irish culture than to indulge in a local whiskey tasting? Guided by a knowledgeable local, we embarked on a sensory journey. 
From smooth single malts to robust blends, each sip told a story of craftsmanship and tradition. But the real intrigue came with a taste of potion. Once banned and brewed in secret, this potent spirit is a nod to Ireland's rebellious and spirited past. Our whiskey-fueled tale soon gave way to a simpler yet delightful detour. Drawn by the charm of a local grocery store, we decided to wander its aisles. Rows of fresh produce, shelves stocked with both the familiar and the intriguing, and the gentle hum of daily life unfolded before us. Each product, each label, was a glimpse into the daily rhythms of Waterville. With our spirits buoyed and our senses filled with the textures of Waterville, we carried on our journey around the majestic Ring of Kerry. Every twist and turn unveiled panoramas that seemed painted by the gods themselves. The distant Skellig Island standing sentinel in the Atlantic, the shimmering waters of Dingle Bay, every site was a testament to nature's grandeur. Amidst the vast landscapes, it was the smaller wonders that often caught our eye. Flocks of sheep dotting the green pastures, wildflowers nodding in the breeze, every detail added to the tapestry of our journey. The road wove its spell, mile after enchanting mile. And as the sun began its descent, casting a golden hue, we realized that the Ring of Kerry wasn't just a route, but a journey into the very soul of Ireland. Soon, the vibrant hues of Sneem beckoned us. This quaint village, with its colored houses and serene riverside setting, offered a refreshing pause on our journey. Drawn by the promise of nature's symphony, we followed the sound of cascading water, leading us to one of Sneem's hidden treasures. And there it was, the Sneem waterfall, in all its roaring splendor. The dance of water over rocks, the misty spray on our faces. It was nature's own orchestra playing just for us. In the midst of our whirlwind journey, the waterfall offered a moment of stillness, a reminder of nature's timeless beauty and the simple joys that await when we take a moment to just be. With hearts lightened and souls refreshed, we bade Sneem and its waterfall a fond farewell. The journey awaited, but the memories from this knot in the rings would remain etched forever. The drive back to Killarney was a testament to Ireland's untouched beauty. Each bend in the road, each hillock, seemed to whisper tales from a time long gone. Soon, Killarney's animated streets welcomed us back, a city where history mingles effortlessly with the present. Dinner beckoned and we found ourselves at the 19th hole, an establishment known for honoring Ireland's rich culinary traditions. We began with a delicate egg, salmon salad, a dance of flavors and textures. This was followed by the potato and leek soup, a creamy embrace that warmed the soul. For our mains, the beef stew stood out, rich, hearty and reminiscent of traditional Irish kitchens. Beside it, the trout, its delicate flavors elevated by an audacious blood pudding stuffing, offered a surprising and delightful contrast. Our gastronomic journey at the 19th hole was just the beginning. The night held more promises with Celtic roots on the horizon. Though we couldn't capture it on film, Celtic roots was an experience beyond words. A performance that intricately wove together dance, music and stories from Ireland's heart. As Killarney's embrace enveloped us, we realized that each moment here, whether savored on a plate or felt in the heart, added a unique note to our Irish symphony. A new dawn, a new adventure. Our journey took us to the legendary Blarney Castle. Steeped in history, it promised tales, myths, and a bit of magical eloquence. As the castle loomed before us, we felt the weight of its history. Centuries of whispered secrets, royal intrigues, and legendary tales surrounded its walls.
The highlight, of course, was the Blarney Stone. Legend says a kiss bestows the gift of gab. We couldn't resist but to join the countless others in this age-old ritual. Then there's the Murder Hole, a chilling testament to castle defenses of yore. Through this unassuming gap, defenders would rain down a deadly barrage on intruders, ensuring the castle's sanctity remained untouched. But Blarney held more secrets. The Poison Garden beckoned next to a sinister yet fascinating collection of nature's most potent plants. A walk here was both eerie and educational. From deadly to delightful, the carnivore and fern garden showcase nature in its most captivating forms. From plants that hunt to ancient ferns, it was a verdant wonderland. And then there was the rock close a place where myths and reality intertwine. The druidic stones and ancient trees whispered tales of magic and mystery. Among the many enchantments of rock close lie the wishing steps. Legend has it that if you walk down these steps backward, with your eyes closed, thinking only of your wish, it's bound to come true. And as wishes fill the air, the path leads to a captivating sight, a waterfall. Its waters, like liquid crystal, offer a tranquil finale, echoing the magic and mystery of the steps before. As the day drew to a close, we bid farewell to Blarney Castle, taking with us memories of legends, of nature's wonders, and a promise of eloquence from a stone kissed under the Irish sky. Our journey led us east towards the historic harbour town of Cove. With its colourful houses cascading down to the waterfront and the towering presence of St. Coleman's Castle, the town exudes both charm and history. St. Coleman's Cathedral isn't just a church. It's a monumental testament to Cobra's faith and resilience. Its imposing neo-Gothic structure stands sentinel over the town, an ever-watchful guardian. Then there's the organ, a masterpiece in both design and sound. One of the largest in Ireland, its melodies have resonated within these walls for over a century, offering both solace and celebration. As we stepped out, the cathedral's spire seemed to touch the clouds, reminding us of Cobble's steadfast faith and the timeless beauty of St. Coleman's. Just by the harbour stands a poignant reminder of Cove's emigrant legacy. The statue of Annie Moore and her brothers. Captured in bronze, their youthful faces look out to sea, representing hope, adventure and the promise of a new world. Leaving the coastal charms of Cove behind, we ventured into the heart of County Cork, drawn by the urban allure of its eponymous city Our journey brought us next to Kilkenny, 
a city that resonates with the echoes of its medieval past while embracing the vivacity of the present. See your awe-inspiring St. Canice's Cathedral and its adjacent round tower are jewels in Kilkenny's crown. Climbing the ancient tower rewards with sweeping views, offering a bird's eye perspective of this historic city. The heart of Kilkenny beats along its medieval mile a stretch that takes one through centuries of history. Every nook and cranny here narrates a story, from grand cathedrals to the smallest of artisan shops. Kilkenny's spirit remains undimmed. The music sessions begin, laughter rings out from pubs, and the city showcases its penchant for combining the traditional with the lively. From the medieval lanes of Kilkenny, our journey circled back to where it began, Dublin, the pulsating heart of Ireland. As evening descended upon Dublin, we found ourselves drawn to Taylor's Three Rock. With its old world allure and promise of an authentic Irish experience, it was the perfect culinary curtain closer to our adventure. As we raised our glasses in a final toast to Ireland, we couldn't help but feel a profound connection. In the laughter, music and stories shared across the table, we found the very essence of the Irish soul. As our final day dawned in Ireland, what better way to toast our journey than a visit to the Irish Museum of Whiskey? Stepping through its doors, we were transported into a world steeped in tradition. From age-old distilling methods to the evolution of Ireland's signature spirit, the museum unraveled whiskey's intricate tapestry. It wasn't just a visual journey. Through interactive exhibits, we felt the grain, inhaled the aromas and, of course, savoured the golden nectar that is Irish whiskey. Before bidding adieu to Dublin, one final stop beckoned. The Brazen Head, a beacon of history and heritage, its tales echoing from the 12th century. The walls inside whisper stories of revolutionaries, writers and wanderers who once sought refuge or inspiration in its cosy nooks. But the Brazen Head isn't just about the past. Every evening it pulsates with the vibrant rhythm of live music, turning history into a living, breathing melody. Every journey has its storytellers and navigators, those who bring the adventure to life, and those who steer us through it. Our tour director, Faith, wasn't just a guide. With every tale she shared, every sight she unveiled, she wove the rich tapestry of Ireland around us, and Eugene, our steadfast driver, ensured we travelled smoothly through this Emerald Isle. With every turn of the wheel, he brought Ireland's landscapes closer to our hearts. Together they were the heartbeat of our Insight Vacations focus on Ireland tour, Thanks to them, our journey was more than sightseeing. It was an immersion into the very essence of Ireland. So, to Faith and Eugene, we raise a glass in heartfelt gratitude. Slan Che. Thank you for making our Irish dream come alive. We hope you've enjoyed reliving this journey with us. Here's to the memories made, the stories shared and the magic of Ireland. That will forever remain in our hearts. Until our next adventure, so long.